video. As you can see, we got the D Cube Blizzard Maker. So yeah, let's just review it. And well, I already made the ice cream, but we're gonna be taking it out for you guys. So here is the. Let me just show you this package. Awesome package. I love that. And then let me just get the machine and let me show you extra parts that it comes with. It comes with two cups and two Dairy Queen spoons and one of these, which is supposed to replace it with this. So let me explain how you're supposed to use this. And it also comes with these instructions. And actually inside it tells you how much of what you have to put in there. So yeah, this is a pretty awesome set. So what you're supposed to do is open this, put ice, salt, and water, but I can't tilt it to show you because all of it's gonna spill. Then in here you're supposed to put half and half vanilla extract and some sugars. So yeah, that's a pretty cool machine. And then you put and then you put this one on top with this, so you can mix it for 10 minutes, then put it like this to pour it all out, which we're gonna do right now. And actually, this shipping, well, we bought it on eBay, and it's sold us for some shipping. Shows right here the refill pack that came with five refill packs, and one of them is already open. Well, we opened it, and now let me show you guys what's inside. So we have three of these. It's just reg regular vanilla packets, but they're already expired. And these pop rocks too. There's three different flavors in them: bubble gum, chocolate, and strawberry pop rocks. And it, yeah, these are expired. So get these things out of here. We don't need them. I don't know why they give it to us like that. But let's just start pouring. I mean, this is the part we've all been waiting for. Actually pouring in. So you're supposed to, okay. I wanna put this cup under, cause I don't know if it's gonna spill off. Okay, this is the part, okay. Now it's time to crank it out. That just broke, that wasn't supposed to happen. But, oh, it's kinda coming out. You just have to push really in. Oh, this is so cool. I've never done this before. And there you go. You have one of them, and now it's time to pump the other one up. Well, not pump it up, but pull some ice cream in here. Okay, gotta push it really hard because this thing kind of broke, but you could also just, let me just line this up correctly. Okay, I'm so excited for trying this, so. Let's connect this right. I don't want to mess anything up. Okay, so it should start taking it out. Okay, this, Pour outer, well, this spinner doesn't really work, but if you just press really tight, it kind of does. So there's some ice cream right there. See if I could get a little bit more out. Oh, I think I just hurt myself. But I think I just got some ice cream on my hand. But it's time to pour this out. Come on, pour out. Guess there's no more in here. Open this, take this out. This thing is stuck. There still is some ice cream, so oh no is it spilling yep it is okay i have to clean this all up later but oh, let's put it backer yeah that's why because we're supposed to put it backer what if i squeeze it harder this is very hard we're having some issues right here but i think we could do it you guys can see the ice cream coming out right okay i think that's enough we just pull so i'm gonna have to clean this whole mess up but okay let's put this to the side now we got this ice some ice oh there's a mess right here wow there's this thing, and then we have some Oreos. So first, I'm really excited to try it by itself because actually, interesting fact, I've never, ever tried Dairy Queen. If I have, I don't remember, definitely I must have been very little because I don't remember trying Dairy Queen. So let's give this a shot, I'm so excited. It's the part I've been waiting for. It tastes so good. It tastes like regular vanilla ice cream. a little plain though i don't know if we put enough vanilla extract but we did follow the direction we got a little bit of crushed up orders i don't know if there's gonna be enough but we're only gonna put it on one of them okay there's a little bit of crushed up oreos let's put this in there next time if i do do this i'm definitely gonna have to put a little bit of vanilla more extract it with no more salt. Well, don't eat it with your hands. I'm not gonna eat it with my hands because it gets all salty, but let's try it with these Oreos. Kinda tastes Oreos. Oh, so good. This is such a good machine, and I hope you enjoyed this video because it's the end of this video.
And if you did enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, and make sure to get this, check this thing out. It's pretty awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye.